Taizong Jiwa. So we had Mobile World Congress at uh, Cup, Cup Computing. So who are you? Yeah. So hi, my name is Andreas. I work for Cup Computing. <laughs> so what are you showing here on the, on the graph? Oh, yeah, so this is basically our security solution. Our security solution basically involves that it basically makes the attack surface for any device much smaller through our uh, ARM device that you can insert into your computer. So you have a MacBook here, a Lenovo ThinkPad there, Yes. and you insert an ARM device somehow in there. Yes. You have inserted something right now? Yes, in this device we have a PCI card on the side. So there's a PCI card? Yes. That has a ARM chip on it. Is, do you have one you can show? Um, so the ARM chip is inside this little mm -hmm. little adapter here. There you go. And this is the full this is the full system. This is well. This is a version of the system we will develop. Yeah. So this is with a Marvel chip. This one. This is a Marvel chip. Yeah. Which one is that? Ooh, I ha I have no idea. Okay. But uh, Marvel, and what do you do with this? Where's your? S why do you use this? What do you do with it? Okay, so what this ARM chip does is that it pulls all the traffic from the computer and um, stores it momentarily on the device. When it is stored on the device, it, it gets decompressed, and then it is scanned by a security suite that we have uh, on this chip. And uh, what the things that are clean which don't have a malware or viruses, get sent onto the computer. The, the advantage of this is that it, in, in, in contrast to antivirus, um, this, this is physically isolated from the computer. In contrast to antivirus, which uses a um, virtual machine, making the attack surface much smaller. So do you uh, scan everything that goes on, all over the Windows and all over the Mac OS or what? Well, what do you do? everything that goes in and out of the computer. All the data yeah. that goes in and out. And you scan it in real time through there through it, without slowing anything down? Well, as I said, we store it on the chip. So it actually makes the, um, it, it's actually quicker than antivirus. So it's quicker than an antivirus? So there's memory here? Yes. And you store the data on it? Yes, that's completely correct. You don't just pass it through? No, no. So this is a storage device too? Yes, it is. Yeah. So how much storage can it have? Um, that depends on which um, chip you, you, yeah. you get, basically. So you use uh, Marvel, you use uh, Freescale and TI. You have different, um, different ARM solutions, right? We will be developing different ARM solutions, yes. Different ARM solutions. So can you show something here? OK, so this is the... Um, Yo, uh, cup interface, as you see, and um, this shows your risk uh, after how many attacks you've had and viruses that have been detected. You can, for example, go to reports there and uh, see the kinds of um, things it has detected. For example, this is the firewall attacks, right? And then you can also go back and look at the Malware, as you see, there's only very little malware attacks. But you upgrade the all the malware protection, antivirus. Yes, all exactly. That. How yeah. does it get upgraded? So we have servers that are not updated. So servers that point directly to this one over the internet and updates the software. Yeah. Automatic updates. And what is it based on the software in there? Um, it, it's a number of different solutions. Some of them are open source, source like Snort that we have configured. Um, specifically for low power processors. Others are proprietary uh, antivirus and uh, intuition detection. Is not some kind of Linux running on there? Yes, there is Linux running there is? on there. Yes. All right. Uh, what's on the other side here? What's behind? It's just, uh, <coughs> just green? Just different chips. More stuff? Yeah, more stuff. How much does it cost and how many people are using this today? Well, the cost would depend on how much bandwidth you want to be processed. If you want about 400 gigabytes, then it would be a lot of money. It would be basically 
three thousand dollars. While if if you want something that has a much lower bandwidth, like let's say a couple of megabits, then it will be about thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah. And basically, people would buy this and put it in their machine themselves, That's or you right. would buy the machine with it inside. Well, right now we're marketing towards OEMs and um, telecoms, so they would pre-insert it into your device. All right. So, how many people are actually using it so far? So far, this is not physically. Um, we we haven't actually manufactured the device yet. Yeah. So it's just prototypes. For now. Yeah, exactly. It's just prototypes. All right. How soon do you think it's going to be market? Uh, well, we are releasing a board with um, the security solution in a couple of months. So that will be the first version, and then we will s slowly or hopefully quickly um, scale down the size.